All right, guys, welcome back to another video. I'm coming to you after a long four weeks of fishing for this one specific brown trout that I found here in a beaver pond. I think over those four weeks, I fished five or six different days for this trout. So a lot of effort went into this. A lot of big brown trout were caught along the way as well. So I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Well guys, I have spotted one giant brown trout in here and then another one. Oh, there's one swimming right there, look at it. Swimming in the water. I've spotted one giant brown trout. It's 20 plus for sure. Then there's another brown trout that's sitting right here at the edge of this. I can't see the GoPro. Right here at the edge of this little thing. That's at least an 18 incher. But this one up here is huge. At least for, for what I'm fishing. It's tough to see, but it's like moving around. Just tied on a smaller dry fly. We're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna step on this grass to my left. Not make too much noise. I'll try not to. Where'd it go? Oh, it's still sitting in the back end there. I really spooked it? Huh. up to the hole here as I was coming down here I did see a pretty good sized splash just right here on the bank in front of me and also I just saw saw one eat right there and I see fish moving up there so but one just hit right here on the bank so what I'm gonna do is I'm not really sure to be honest Oh, there's a good brown right there. Oh, shoot. Big one. It's coming over to look at it. No, it's not. Turned away. That's a pretty good brown right there, guys. nothing to do with it. He got it. Got him. It's a good one. <laughs> That's a good brown. Come on, buddy. Don't go back there. I have a very light tippet on. Just coming into me. It's right, keep coming in. Keep coming in. That's a big brown. Don't break, don't break. Got him. Oh. oh That's what I'm talking about, guys. That's what I'm talking about. All kinds of moss in my net. What happened was I twitched the that dry fly and actually sink under the water and as soon as that dry fly sink under the water I saw him come up and sip it right up and that's a big brown right there guys solid fish for sure Got a big one. Good one, good one, good one. There we 
go. Come on in, come on in. Got a decent brown. Oh, that's a beautiful fish too. He's wrapped, I gotta get him. Oh, that is a tank. Oh. It's a beautiful brown trap too. Colors on him are unbelievable. That might be a little bigger than the last one I just got. Losing everything. There we go, look at that. Unbelievable trout. Gorgeous, we're gonna get him back. I'd say this is another, well, I might grab the tape measure and measure him just so I know about the size of the trout I'm catching on here. I'd say it's definitely 18 inches though. I see it, I see my giant fish. Sitting already at the head of the hole. All the way at the head of the hole. I don't know what to do. There he is. He's so freaking big. Shoot, I don't want to spook him. And he's literally all the way at the head of that. The problem is it guys, if I hook him, look at this huge log here. I mean, he's gonna go right under this. So what's gonna have to happen if he does eat? I'm gonna have to, to jump on top of this log. Well, I'm screwed either way, pretty much. While I look at it. Got him. No shot. That popped off. some more. Oh, there he is. He's up on the right side now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let him feed for a minute so he just feels comfortable again and I'll try it again. How did that pop out? I had him, guys. Dang it. I'm going to give him like 5-10 minutes and I'll be back. I don't really want him to face him down the creek there because then he might see my line as I cast. Completely lost him. Oh, there he is. This is it. No shot. I missed him again. All right, guys. Well, I guess I'm just no good. I missed that big fish twice now. The first time. I thought I had him for sure. I pulled back into him, his head moved, he started coming down the creek and just popped off. And he popped off again the second time. So I'm gonna leave him alone for a minute, fish around some other places, see if I can catch some more trout. And then at the end of the day, I'll come back to him and see if he is still not feeding up there. 
and hopefully hook on to him. See if we can get him in up there. That'll be a tough place to get a trout in there with all the logs and, and, and sticks around there, but we'll see. If not, I might have to come back another day to see if I can catch him, because I think he's around 20 inches, which is just massive for like just, just a pond like this that comes from just a tiny little creek. But I'm gonna work around, see if I can find some other fish, and keep on going. Big one over here, guys. He turned around. That was a good one though. It's a big boy. Come back over here. Oh, he's chasing a fish. Need to wait until he swims back over here. Oh, he's going for it, he's going for it, he's going for it. You got it. Oh, yes, come on. Easy there, brother. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh. Oh, shoot, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, don't break off. Come on now. Oh, big head shakes. Oh, easy there. Don't get. Come on, just lull him over here. Don't go in that. No, no, don't break, don't break, don't break. He wants to go in that so bad. Oh, he's going up the. Where the heck is he going? Jump over here. I think I can get him. If I can. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. It's a good brown. I can get him. This comes over here. And got him. Oh, that's another good brown. Look at that right there. That is a another just good 18 or so inch brown right there. Look at that guy. Beautiful. Get him unhooked. Beautiful right here this one might be the biggest yet at least just in terms of like girth and it's just a stunning fish so we're gonna I'm gonna hold them up real quick beautiful brown right here look at that oh easy absolutely beautiful we're gonna get him back into the water and Keep on going. I'm going to see if I can't catch that one big one I saw at the very head up here. If not, I might have to come back another day, but still have hope. Don't quite get. Oh, there's one. Got a good one. He just wanted that dry fly. That's what I'm talking about. That's a good trout right there. Good brown. Ooh. Get a little more line up here. Oh, yes. Easy there, buddy. 
Come on in here. Come on in. Come on in here. Nope, he doesn't want it. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's not do that. Beautiful fish. He's doing what all the brown trout do. They just sit at, sit at an angle with their nose down. And there we go. Come here. Got him. That is a stunning brown trout. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Beautiful fish. See, that's a big one. Alright, guys. Just caught this beautiful brown trout. Just measured him at just about 19 inches. So, my biggest brown out of these beaver ponds yet. It's just a stunning brown trout. Not the big one that, that I was after, but this is pretty good size. It might be a similar size to the big one that I'm after, but. It's tough to tell until you actually catch him get out of the water, but stunning colors on him. I'm gonna try to hold him up just real quick and then get him back in the water. Look at that. Unbelievable brown trout right there. All right, let's get him released. Maybe catch some more, some more big brown trout. The sun just came out, so maybe they're gonna be eating uh, more bugs now. But let's get after it. Got him. Oh, yes. There he is, there he is, there he is, finally. He ate the nymph. Now get off that tree. Oh. No, don't get in there, don't get in there, don't get in there. Oh, you got off, you got off. I don't want you in there, I don't want you in there. I knew that was gonna be a problem spot. Come on, stay out of there, stay out of there. No, don't go in there, there. It's all problem spots up here. Jumping in. She got me wrapped around something. No! Ah, he broke me! Daggone! I lost control of him because he pushed out of that log under the undercut and then I had the net in my hand and I couldn't control the line. <sighs> Dang it. Well guys, as you just saw, I lost him. Finally I was able to hook him when I says 24 nymph and broke me off. Not great. He he originally ran to the log on my left, which I expected him to do, and I was able to get him out from that. And then he went over to the other side where the undercut bank was, which I also knew he would probably try and do that, but I was hoping there wasn't anything for him to get like stuck on under there. And it ended up that he did get stuck on something, so I had to jump in the water there, and I grabbed my net to either try to net him underneath of that or, um, or just push him out and it ended up pushing him out and he swam up in front of me but there wasn't really anything there for him like 
to go to above me. So then he turned around, shot right back past me towards the undercut and just snapped my line. <sighs> I guess that's just how things go sometimes. Not great. I guess it looks like I'll be coming back someday and try to get my revenge on him. Well guys, on day four and five, I didn't catch any fish and I had no luck with the big brown trout. But I wasn't satisfied with that ending, so I decided I had to go back one last day to see if I could make something happen. Got it. Got a giant. Yes. It's a giant. Oh, yes. He ate it. Oh, my gosh. It's a giant brown. Oh, he's jumping out of the water. Let's get in. Let's get in. Let's get in. There he goes. There he goes. Don't know. I'm sinking, I'm sinking in. Yes. And after this trout. Oh my gosh. He's going airborne. There he goes, this is a giant, guys. It's okay. Come back to me. Yes. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Nope. Don't pop off, buddy. Don't break, don't pop. Oh, yes. Come back up. Oh, he's a big, a big male. Got him. Oh, it's a giant. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, let's get back up. Where am I stuck? That is a giant brown trout, guys. Oh. Yeah. Um, I can't believe he actually ate. And I got him in beautiful colors on him. Look at this. Unreal. He's a hefty guy. Big head to him. <laughs> That's a giant. Let's see if I can get this dry fly out. Alright guys. Finally caught a giant brown trout. Not finally. I've seen this guy actually a few of the previous times. I just haven't really talked about him because most of the time I've spooked him before I've even been able to cast. So. Haven't really had any luck at him, but this time I was I just crawled up here and, and I saw him up there feeding and it still took a little while to get him to eat, but got him to eat. This is a beautiful brown, definitely probably around 20 inches. Might measure him, but let's see if we can hold him up before. Look at that. Unreal. Beautiful brown trout. I'm gonna get him released and that'll probably be the end of this video. Alright guys, I cannot ask for much more than that. That was a giant brown. I didn't measure him because I just completely forgot to, but I've got to somewhere between 20 and 21 inches. Definitely bigger than any of the other brown trout that I've caught. 
but uh, I've seen him on a few previous trips here when I was fishing for the other brown trout, the, the brown trout I've been targeting. But just about every time I've came up to him, I've spooked him. So this time I just crawled up basically on my hands and knees up to the run that he was in. And it still took about half an hour, but I got him to eat, so it was all worth it. But the other brown trout that I've been targeting, I think I'm gonna say that he won this battle. I've fished for him, I think this is the sixth attempt or something around there, and I haven't got him any times. So I lost him that one time, so I'm gonna say he won this battle this time and leave him alone for now. Plus, I think that brown trout I just caught might have been a little bigger, to be honest, than the trout I was after anyway, so it all worked out in the end. But I think that will do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching this long journey over about four weeks of fishing. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in another episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures.